I'm really overexposed. <laughs> hey ladies, it's Tanner. Welcome to another video. It's Vlogmas Day 10. <laughs> How you feeling? I only missed a few days of Vlogmas. I literally had three mental breakdowns, but it's fine. I'm doing so much better. Sometimes you just need to take time off. I am actually filming on a DSLR and a ring light, so I haven't done this in a hot second. But anyway, as you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail, I'm going to be answering your guys' questions. Um, I'm going to be doing, I tweeted like a few weeks ago that I will be doing a mukbang Q&A. Um, and I'm just now getting around to that. So if you guys ever want to do one of these with me, follow my Twitter. It's at Tanner Kearns. I will leave a link in the description. Anyway. I figured I would start out, this is kind of healthy, I'm trying to be a little healthier, I'm also trying not to look bald. It is Monday evening, um, I had a nice day at work, um, <clears throat> anyway, I'll tell you what I'm eating, we'll get into the questions. So this is a pre-made salad kit from the Aldi, um, if you guys did not know, Aldi is the same thing as Trader Joe's basically, this is kale cabbage, Brussels sprouts with cranberries, pumpkin seeds, and poppy seed dressing. It's like yogurt or something. Mm. I didn't think I would like it, but I like it. Um, I have some hummus here. It doesn't taste the greatest, but it's whatever. Got some carrots. I have peas. Okay, so I used to work with a lady who, she would bring like a can of peas or corn to work. I thought that was the nastiest thing. And then I do it all the time. I literally will just eat a bag of frozen peas. Well, I'll cook them, but whatever. But I just, I used to eat peas growing up. I prefer the frozen ones over the canned ones now, but... I just love peas. Okay, let's get into the questions. <sighs> Water, okay. So Hayden asks about 14 different questions. He says, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is green, if I have to choose one. My favorite movie, um, probably right now, um, I don't know. I don't really know my favorite movie. Um, one I just saw, Crazy Rich Asians. That one's really good. Favorite song? Um, probably any song from the Greatest Showman soundtrack. Mm. My favorite letter is T, because duh. My favorite flower? Um, I don't know, I like a hydrangea. Does that count? My favorite candle scent. Lemon Zest from Yankee Candle. If you find this, DM me on Twitter, Instagram, literally leave me a comment. I have one left and they discontinued it. Let me know if your Yankee Candle store has any. Also, I feel like I should be eating a salad with a spoon. Um, how many candles do I own? Hayden? I don't know. I'm, I've am i been getting rid of a lot more. I've been giving them away. Mm. How many cakes have I baked? Um, I baked probably this year alone, probably like 10. Maybe more, maybe less. What's your favorite cake to bake? My favorite cake to bake is a vanilla sponge. That's a lie. My favorite cake to bake is a chocolate cake just because I like the taste of chocolate. And just simple. I like Italian meringue buttercream. I don't make it often because a lot of people don't know what it is and I'm not gonna make them a batch just to try it and tell me they don't want it because us Americans really like American buttercream. Mm. 
Good question. Um, are you guys eating? You guys should be eating. I just really like peas. I overcooked these though. Hmm. Look, I have an auto-focusing camera. Look at that. You see that? I stole Gabe's. And by stole, I mean I asked him if I could borrow it. And he said, yeah. So. Um, Christmas is coming up. What did you get? What do you guys want for Christmas? Anyone? Next question is by Surf. What happened with the previous roommate? If you guys did not know, I just currently got a new roommate. Her name is Lexi. Um, before her, I had a roommate live with me for about four months. There's like no tea or drama. Um, we were supposed to film a video um, about everything that we hated about each other while we lived together. But a lot of those things have left my memory because I don't, I haven't lived with her for two months. And really it was just personal reasons. Um, like nothing to do with me, but like for her, it was just best for her to leave. So that's what happened. That's the T. Eventually, I want to film a new roommate. Uh, I want to film a roommate tag or something. Tag. I'm literally stuck in 2014. But we'll see. Miss Maisie May asked, Would you do another vacay to LA like last time? If so, is there anything you'd like to do differently? Also, when do you predict you'll graduate complete all slash complete all your schooling. So I would not do another vacation to LA like I just did. Um, I was not prepared to fork out so much money. Um, I didn't save enough. Um, well, I saved enough. It was just things were expensive. So maybe I didn't save enough. <laughs> um, we stayed in, like, L.A. for, like, three days, and then we went to VidCon, and then we came home. Um, we went and ate at Beverly Hills and spent about, mm, I don't know, $300 on lunch. Um, I didn't even feel like I was in L.A. I didn't see the Hollywood sign. We did go to those light things, those light, like, there are a whole bunch of light poles. We went to that museum. That was really fun. I like that. When I travel, I don't think of museums because I think they're boring, but they're actually not. Like, they're very fun and cool to, like, go and, like, look at the art and see how people are creative. Um, I really like that. Um, it was just expensive, and I was, like, penny-pinching a lot, and I don't like to do that when I'm on vacation. Um, and I was just ready to go home. I was homesick. I get homesick so easily. It's unreal. Um, I just don't, I just like to be at home. Um, am I going to go back to VidCon? I think so, yes. Um, I won't do what I did last time. I will go to VidCon and that's about it. Some of my friends out in LA who live there are like upset about my experience and they want me to actually experience it, um, how I should. And so we're going to like do things that they know what to do and fun things or whatever. So I'm going to do that. I think we'll see. Don't know. I really want to go to Disney. So I think actually I want to go to Universal. I don't want to go to Disney, but it was fun. Why I take it back? No. I just think me not having enough money, you know, was the worst thing. But I guess now looking back at it, I did have a good time. Like, I met so many cool people. This, and like, I went, I did cool things. I had fun. I went to a drag show. Why am I complaining about it? I think I would have set it up differently. Everything that I did was amazing. I loved it. I wanted to go see the Hollywood sign. Didn't see that. It is what it is. I thought I was going to hop off the plane at LAX, look to my right, and see the Hollywood sign, but that's a freaking lie, Miley. Mm. Anyway. Um, 
Also, when do you predict you'll graduate? Um, well, anyone wants to, like, throw me some money, I'll graduate as soon as I can. Um, I think I figured it out I have another year and a half. So three-ish semesters left to go. I think. If I'm doing the math wrong, which I probably am, I'm, it's probably two years. Um, the reason this, is, like, leads me into, like, why I haven't uploaded since Saturday is because Friday I, like, had three mental breakdowns and I physically couldn't. I barely, like, I was, I, all I could do was my job and that, that was about it. And a lot of things happened Friday. Like, not, like, horrible things. Like, everyone's fine. Nothing, like, just, like, finance things. Like, I'm good with money. But when things, like, my car, I, I, so, I don't know. I just don't know if you guys care. Because, I mean, I wouldn't want to listen to someone complain about this. When I started school, when I started paying for school myself, I got a huge chunk of change from the government, I guess. Um, now, I have made too much money, and I don't get as much, like, I, I just don't get as much, and I'm struggling, I'm not, I'm paying things, like, I'm not struggling with bills or anything, but it's hard for me to go from, you have to pay this small amount of money for school, to, hey, you have to pay this huge chunk of change for school, and that just hit me, and I'm like, well, I wasn't ready for that, so I'm trying to, like, catch back up, and then things happen with my car, and I have to pay for that. I'm just like, let's start a GoFundMe. I'm just kidding. I, I literally wouldn't ask people for money. I just, it was just a lot that day. And it took me a while to get like back in. I'm still kind of down about it, but it is what it is. It's over. My car's fixed, supposedly. Life goes on. Um, but I have to work full time to pay my bills. And I'm going back to school full time. So I can get done faster because I'm tired of, I'm just tired of it. I just want to be done. I want to have my degree. I, not only for myself, I obviously want my degree for myself, but I want my degree to show my younger siblings that college is an option for them. Like they can go to school, they can get a degree. I really want to do something in PR or I want, I'm, I just want to like focus on media. I love media. I like to do it. But it's slow, but surely, and it's like, I just want to get done. I want to get into the fun. I'm in the fun courses now. Like, I'm taking fun classes. I have taken fun classes. But I just want to be done. I've been in school since 2013, so do the math. Um, next question is also from Miss Maisie May. I, <laughs> I got these questions in November. And they asked, are you going to do Vlogmas? Yes, I'm attempting Vlogmas. I My life is just so boring. And I'm just like, no one cares. Literally, no one cares. That's a lie, because people care, and they sent me questions. Colleen asked, what scene from a TV show would you never forget? Um, I would literally never forget... The lip sync between um, Tatiana and um, Alyssa Edwards when they lip sync for their life. Iconic. Iconic. I really love Drag Race. Mm. All Stars 4. Right? Are we on? Yeah, All Stars 4 starts um, like next week. Or, or this week, I think. Yeah, this week. Um, Taya asked, what was your favorite slash least favorite part about high school? Um, I think my favorite part about high school was, <laughs> um, I don't know. I 
I think, I mean, I had fun in high school. I was a little goody two shoes and did everything I was supposed to, and I was the good child, and I think I drank once. Once or twice. Bef it, well, like, before I was 21, so. Um. I don't know. My favorite, like, what is my favorite thing about high school? I liked how I got to see my friends every day. Like, they did, you don't, you know, you don't get a choice to see people. You have to. And it was nice to see my friends all the time because you don't get that when you're older. You know, I just had my five-year reunion and I saw people for the first time in five years. <laughs> Do I want those people in my life? No, I really don't. I have the people I want in my life in my life because you get to choose that. Um, I don't know, my favorite part is probably like going to like football games, like socializing and just being like funny with my friends and just, I don't know, going to Taco Bell after school. I don't know. My least favorite part is probably, um, Probably just not getting to be who you want to be. You're always trying to please someone. You're always trying to, you know, just not be yourself. Um, I'm sure a lot of people, like, high school is definitely a place where you peak or you don't peak. And I was definitely not one of the people who peaked in high school, thank God. Um, but, yeah. It's just, it just sucks because you have all this peer pressure to be these, this certain type of person, like, I don't know. Now, when I take my high school, when I take my experience back, no, not at all. But it's just high school. It's four years. Once you're out of there, who cares? Just, just do what you want to do, honestly. My favorite part about high school is being friends with Taya. Because Taya went to high school with me. Um, last question is from Mango Kitty Yes. They ask, do you expect to graduate college? Yeah. Will you continue onwards towards another degree? Um, no. <laughs> it's taking me this long to get a bachelor's. Uh, probably not unless an employer wants to pay for a master's. Mm. Where do I see myself in the next 10 years? Um, I don't really know. I hopefully, hopefully I'm like with someone. Hopefully I'm in a career that I love. Hopefully I'm financially stable. I hope my family is financially stable. Um, I want to be successful in the next 10 years. Do you feel that YouTube has made you more mature? Um, I think it has, for sure. I really like this question. Um, YouTube, I started watching YouTube in 2013 when I graduated high school. I, um, what, like... I started watching that. I come from a very small town, and not a small town of 10,000 or 10, 100,000 people. Like, so, like that's not small. Like, small is literally a 1,000 people or less. I grew up in a town of literally 20 people. Where I went to school, there was a 1,000. Um, yes, because YouTube opens up your mind. Um... I started watching a lot of videos, a lot of things that I'd never heard, excuse me, a lot of things that I've never heard of in my entire life on YouTube. Um, it made me mature, it made me realize that like, hey, maybe I shouldn't say that word. You know, that's really offensive. Or, you know, there are people out there who are way different than me. There are a lot of people out there who have different views and opinions than me. More than the thousand people I grew up around. Um, it did make me mature and made me realize that, you know, I need to grow up and realize that not everyone's like me. And yeah, so there's my answer for that. 
They also ask, what is your biggest dream? My biggest dream is probably pathetic. I really want to, I just want to be successful in whatever I do. My dream is to literally be so successful that I take care of my family. Like, that would be amazing. Um, help other people. Show people that they can do it no matter what. Um, yeah. I just want, I want, I'd love to help make other people's dreams come true because I want mine to come true so badly. I just want to be a successful person in my eyes and other people's, you know, screw the other people. I want to be successful for myself and myself only because I'm right now the only person that matters. So they also ask, what is something you like doing that we don't know about? Um... Well, I feel like you guys know all my hobbies. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Um, I don't know, because I feel like I delve into everything that I like to do. Um, I like ice skating. I like baking. I like interior design. I like plants. I like, you know, taking care of plants, I guess. Um, I like to clean, um, I don't know. Did you guys know I like to clean? Did you know I like to bake cakes and things like that? Um, I don't know. Something you might not know about is my tree is bigger than my whole apartment, but... Anyway. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I think I'm gonna go. I need to study and I have to run some errands. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Share it with your friends. Um, If you guys want me to do another Q&A, leave your questions down below or tweet them to me. Um, sorry this isn't like a vlog, but this is what I came, this is what I came up with. So anyway, share, share this with your friends. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If there are any video ideas you guys want me to do, leave those in the comments below as well. Um, and let me know what you guys ate while you watch this, because I really hope you ate something, so. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you ladies next time. Bye!